Hey, good morning everybody. Don here again. What a beautiful morning. I am in New York, uh, actually in the Pulaski area, and uh, I got the kayak on the Jeep. Right back behind me is the uh, mouth of the Salmon River. Uh, famous for steelhead and salmon in the fall and in the spring, but it's also a really good bass fishery. Uh, just around this bend, it dumps into Lake Ontario. I'm at the Pine Grove State Boat Launch. I am going to hang out here, see if I can catch some bass, or maybe even a pike. I hear it's good pike fishing in here too, so hang out. Let's see what happens. Beautiful morning. The sun is just, uh, just coming up, and uh, wish me luck. Shoving off. Beautiful. The sunrise is just coming up over the trees. Gorgeous. I was going to wear the chesty today. I decided to go with the head mount again. I know it looks goofy, but it gives me the best, the best view. If I'm fighting a fish off to the side, the chesty's always pointing this way, and. So I've never fished here before. This is the mouth of the Salmon River. Of course, there's a pretty good current coming out of the Salmon River. I guess you can see that up ahead, but. I'm gonna give it a go. Man, this stuff just looks too good not to, not to try the frog. Oh, I, do I got him? No, missed him. Dang it. Right where I thought he'd be. All right, my drag tightened down tight enough. Wow. Right by that stick. I figured that was a little bit of structure. Let's see if he's come back. Water's at least six feet deep here. I'm gonna go in and hit these, uh, the shoreline, hit some of these docks. Oh, now that the sun is out, you can really get an idea how murky this water is. It's, uh, yeah, it's really kind of muddy from the rain. Every river that I pass on the way down was just flowing chocolate colored. And I thought the salmon might be a little different because it's fed from a uh, reservoir and it's flood controlled or it's dam controlled. But... It's pretty murky, too. You guys all hanging out on somebody's dock? They probably don't want you there. Pooping all over everything. the ruckus. <laughs> Sorry guys. 
You can see how flooded that is. They've got their firewood stacked up. There's a turtle. They've got sandbags all around it. Got sandbags all around their house. I see actually a lot of sandbags in different areas. But even though they've got all those sandbags, their yard is totally flooded. That's too bad. It's a really neat little stone uh, stone structure. Yeah, no wonder the action's not so hot. I mean, the water is really high. And there is Lake Ontario. You know I'm going to have to go out there just to say I kayaked on Lake Ontario. Maybe we'll have some smallmouth action around that jetty. If I get on the other side of that breakwater, the water might not be quite so murky. I'm thinking, you know, but also I don't want to get too far out on the lake in my little open canoe type kayak. Officially in Lake Ontario. Right off the bat, I get snagged on a rock. Kind of weird, you got current coming one way and waves coming the other. The wind is kind of blowing up or down the river, I guess, blowing in my face. So you got three, I, three forces working against each other, all working against me. Well, folks, I'm going to uh, call it for this spot for the morning. I'm going to head back in, load up the kayak and all the gear, and take a little ride and look for some clearer water. This, uh, this definitely isn't cutting it. And you can probably see from the trees and here, the wind is starting to pick up a little bit. Lake Ontario is not where I want to be with the kayak, so. Oneida will be worse, but where I want to go on Oneida might uh, might be good. It'll be out of the wind for sure. It's part of the canal system. So we'll go see what that water looks like there. We'll see you in a bit. Thanks for watching to this point. Well, it's another uh, day-night doubleheader. I'm, uh, I'm back on the uh, Salmon River. Pine Grove boat ramp I was here this morning so I checked out a couple other places up here that I'd been wanting to fish and none of them looked as good as this place looked um, it's another beautiful evening it's seven o'clock so uh, I'm gonna stay out here for probably two hours this place is supposed to have largemouth bass smallmouth bass and northern pike and I had one hit this morning on the frog I'm going to throw a uh, different spinnerbait because the water's kind of murky 
And I don't know what else I have tied on, but we'll give her another go. The wind has completely died. And one of the reasons I came off the water this morning is because the wind had picked up and I was way out at the lake and fighting my way back in. <laughs> it was a little bit of a bear. You got the current of the main river and then you have um, the wind was blowing in me too. So hopefully I can uh, do a little better than I did this morning. Beautiful spot. So the spinner bait. Oh, we got something here. Oh, man. It's big. Whatever it is. Oh, I gotta be a pike. Oh, man. <laughs> oh, oh, no. It's a big, chunky bass. Oh. It's a big one. I'm going to lose it. Oh! Look at that sucker. That's the biggest bass I've caught this year. Wow. Oh, i got to put the scale on that. Oh, look at that. On the spinner bait. The spinner bait never lets me down. Whew. Oh, look at that. Wow, it's got to be three pounds. My scale is working. My scale not working. Ah, oh, my scale's not working. I don't care. You look at that, baby. That's a three pound bass. Let's see. What do we got for length? there 18 inches <laughs> all right off he goes back into the deep nice fish well that made my evening spinner bait spinner bait i say has been my confidence lure all year and that just shows it right there. That was a corker. Whew. Let's see if I can catch another one of those. That was too much fun. Made it down to the bridge. I'm gonna follow the shore. I love this riprap. Well. Got to get paddling back. Get myself back. Get ready for tomorrow. It was a pretty good night. Beautiful, calm. Caught the best largemouth I've caught so far this year. I got no complaint with that. This piece of water is just incredible. I love it. It's not too shabby either. Sunset's prettier than the sunrise was this morning. <laughs>